Yankees have everything we need. Uh, how much did they try on a big name pitcher or more bullpen help, and uh, why did they miss? They tried, Chris, but I was actually told today that they had more conversations about relievers than starters today, which surprises you based on how the Yankee rotation looked against the Red Sox just last week. It was obviously a pretty big weakness, but again, Mark, not a lot of conversation there about getting a starting pitcher. They had tried. They had thought about Madison Bumgarner. Never really seemed to get close there. There had been some conversation with Robbie Ray. Of Granky course, was not as well. go. Granky, he has his no-trade clause. I'm glad you mentioned that, Chris. Granky had a no-trade clause. There's a pretty strong belief Granky did not want to pitch in New York. So he would have used that the no trade clause exercise that to prevent going to New York. So they tried for relievers actually they tried on Shane Green who as we saw went to Atlanta instead. So the Yankee farm system mark is, is pretty good but not great. And if they were not going to trade Davey Garcia they simply were not going to be able to access the likes of Bumgarner and Ray. Yeah so Mark what does this do to the Yankees World Series chances? Well they still have the ability to do it and they've gone through a rash of injuries. It's been a great story actually at the beginning of the year how they really succumbed over those injuries that they they had so when you look at the Yankees they have the ability to win a World Series championship but I think the starting rotation frankly has to pitch better I think Brian Cashman understands he does have the pieces to be able to go out there and make a run but this is a disappointment in that locker room there's two factors that I think is going to happen you're going to have to have Severino be a, an impactful guy that comes back and, and shows his health, but also De Dylan Batances needs to do that the same. There is concern in the Yankees organization if and will uh, they will come back and actually perform for the Yankees. So there's doubt in that mind. And here's the other thing, guys. Would George Steinbrenner been it, had a, it, an opportunity here <laughs> no, he to make a difference? It. He would have gone for it. Yep. So there's concern moving forward. I know Aaron Boone saying the right things. There is concern in that locker room that they didn't make a move that was going to impact their race because the Red Sox are down, and this was an opportunity for the Yankees to separate themselves. Yeah, the Red Sox didn't help themselves in the bullpen either, but odds makers in Vegas, the Astros have moved to the favorite along with the Dodgers to win the World Series. The Yankees went down a little bit. The name that we're going to remember maybe for today and forever if the Dodgers don't win the World Series this year is Dustin May. That was the prospect the Dodgers would not give up to get Felipe Vasquez, who I think would have been the dominant lefty reliever back there to pair with Kenley Jansen. It would have been perfect, perfect. And for a team that's just been in the World Series now, back-to-back -back years, Mark, a lot of Dodger fans clamoring for this, and there's a lot of disappointment, I know, in this city tonight because Felipe Vasquez is not a Dodger. Yeah, did they make a mistake? You heard Dave Roberts say uh, the goal was the same, but uh, given uh, the fine young players they have and plenty of prospects and young lineup they have, did they make a mistake not pulling the trigger on this? Will they regret not making a bigger move for the bullpen? I think they will, and the reason why I say that is second place is not good enough. It's already been, hey, we went to the World Series, we we faced a, a very hot team in the Houston Astros and then losing last year to the Red Sox. Now you're starting to realize they've cleaned up the locker room. They have a very talented roster, as Dave Roberts talked about. Kenley Jansen's blown four saves this year. The one factor I'll say that I think made a big decision on this, Hunjin Ryu's health has been a big key this year. Obviously started the All-Star game. He's having a fabulous year. He's showing his health. And they like to mix and match at the end of the year. They have the versatility to do that, put some starters in the bullpen to try to fortify that a little bit. But this is taking a very big risk, in my opinion. Yeah, you still need, right, that automatic, that Aroldis Chapman, that closer guy that, that, that can finish it. And hopefully Jensen is still that. Dodgers believe he is. I don't believe they came close. I was told by a GM today that they had talked, certainly, to the Giants Asking about Bumgarner. Too much, yeah, well, they just said... I never thought he was fully available, were the words that were given to me. Okay. So that was what the GM thought based on talking about the price. And, and when you consider that, Chris, there's, there's ways that the GMs talk to each other. And when you're asking for someone's very best player in return, it's almost like saying the player's not available. But the key thing that I, I look at this team now, Mark, and you consider how they were, they were able to build themselves up in the month of July, as Chris pointed out, they've given up now three of their relievers, Dyson, Melanson and Pomerantz. Pomerantz had just moved from the rotation to the bullpen. And so you wonder, Bruce Bochy's trying to have this magic in his last run as a Giants manager, doing it now three relievers short. Yes, they added Scooter Jeanette, but you wonder uh, how much 
they can actually sustain this run that they've been on. Did they make a mistake, given the bigger picture, not trading him if they could have gotten something back for the future? Because it's, he's likely to walk next year. You know what, Chris? I, I've been in that uniform. I understand the passion of the of the fan base and what they are looking at. They don't, uh, they're not a franchise that believes in that rebuild, but I think they missed the boat here, and I think they sh really should have gone that route with Madison Bumgarner because, as JP alluded to, they're almost in, in and they're also out as well. If they kept the roster intact, and then added some pieces, I would say, listen, they're doing it for Madison Baumgartner, the franchise player, Bochy. but also Bruce Bochy, trying to look for those 2,000 wins and another opportunity. I think they missed the boat because it was a seller's market. They could have got a big return for Madison Baumgartner, even if he's a free agent next year. That was a difference maker out there on the market, in my opinion, because of his resume in the playoffs. Yeah, to have three World Series in the last you know decade run, pretty impressive. So uh, they're making all the right moves. What about Noah Syndergaard? We heard last night we thought he was going, and then he was, the deal he was pulled off the table. Uh, why didn't the Mets trade him? I was surprised. This is a great question. Basically, again, the price was so high, similar to the Baumgartner conversation, but there with the Mets, multiple years of control, of control still uh, for No Syndergaard in New York. Um, interestingly, there was much more conversation, I was told from sources, Chris, that the Mets had about Zach Wheeler today. The Astros, the Braves, even the Yankees, the Twins all spoke with them about Wheeler, but not Syndergaard. It was very early again that Joel Sherman reported that basically Syndergaard was off the market. So the Padre conversation, though, well, we're going to bookmark this mark and come back to it in the wintertime because I still think San Diego and Syndergaard a good fit, but maybe not until December. Well, it sounds like both Syndergaard and Bumgarner, if somebody really knocked their socks off with a yes. deal, they would have been available. They were available, but, they but just the weren't. price was so high that really nothing, from what I could tell, got close today on either pitcher.